we rely on Menards. You know, we go there and purchase our building materials. Krista and her husband are regular Menard shoppers, and they factor the store's popular 11% rebate incentive into their budget, as they did for some recent remodeling projects. This time we happened to spend nearly $20,000, so we were um, supposed to be awarded with a roughly $2,200 rebate. But when those rebate certificates never arrived in the mail, Krista, who asked that we not use her last name, wrote Menards to ask about the delay and I found out it had been redeemed. It turns out the postcard-like rebate certificates had been stolen from the mail and redeemed for merchandise by someone else, several purchases over multiple days. Menards confirmed that, so Krista asked the company to replace her stolen rebates. Menards told you what? So Menards told us that they aren't going to replace our rebates, that it's up to the police to identify the thieves and for the thieves to give us our rebate back. They want you to get your money back from the people who stole it from Exactly. You. The email to Krista from Menard's investigator read, I'm sorry, but Menard's cannot replace rebates that have already been spent. It would be up to the person who used it to reimburse you. They're just putting all the responsibility on the customer, as if I, I were at fault. 12 News reached out to Menards, who would confirm only that the company is working with police and U.S. postal authorities, but would not comment on the rebate policy. The company told Krista the purchase details and video of the suspects has been sent to Whitefish Bay Police. But that department tells us that the lead agency on this case is in fact the U.S. Postal Service's Office of the Inspector General. That's the office that investigates theft involving postal employees. 12 News has learned that a suspect has been identified and interviewed by postal authorities, but the U.S. Attorney's Office has not yet filed any charges, and the video and suspect's name are not being released at this time. Meanwhile, we checked to see whether someone could easily redeem another person's rebate certificate. With permission, I took a 12 News colleague's small dollar amount rebate into a local Menards store. I picked out an item, scanned the rebate card to pay for it, and walked out with my purchase. No questions asked. It's what the thieves did with Krista's certificates, draining almost their entire value. Menards sent her only what was left. Of the $2,200, we received a rebate of $88.03. That's all Menards is willing to give us. The rest, Menards tells Krista, will have to come from the people who redeemed her stolen rebates. I just really would like my rebate back that I worked very hard for, spent a lot of money, you know, to earn. In Whitefish Bay, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.